this lesson on Microsoft Teams with JAWS for Windows 2021 is going to cover the search box of Microsoft Teams. So let's take a look around the screen first. Control F6 will move you around the screen. Control F6, search in the chat, combo box, look for messages, files, and more, or type. And that's the search or edit box. I press control to silence speech. And as I move around the screen um, with control F6, I will cycle back to the search edit box. Control F6, chat list, chat list review, chat list. Control F6, message list, matter. Control F6, type a new message, edit and edit. Control F6, search in the chat, combo box, look for messages, files, and more, or type slash for a list of commands, edit. I press control to silence JAWS for a minute. And if I wanted to, I could also tab around the screen. We'll go ahead and do that. Signed into test 0365, profile, app settings, and more. Button menu, your profile picture with status displayed as available. App. There's my profile menu. We'll come back and look at that later. List with nine items, activity toolbar toggle button. These are your different applications. This is called the activity toolbar. Chat toolbar toggle button press. Chat. Teams toolbar toggle button. And I'm just pressing my down arrow key to move between these. Calendar toolbar toggle button. Calls toolbar toggle button. And I can press my tab key to move forward. And I've not selected one. I think I'm still selected on chat. So if I hit tab. Chat button menu. Filter control plus shift plus F button. And I'm pressing the tab key. So as you can see, it's a pretty big experience with lots of different controls, lots of different areas within the screen. Right now, again, we're in the chat section. If I wanted to get back to that edit box, the search edit box, I could press control F6 until I got there, or I can use the Microsoft Teams hotkey of control E. Control E, search in the chat, combo box, look for messages, files, and more, or type slash for a list of commands, edit combo, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one, left brace one, right brace. So a lot of stuff was said there. Basically, this is your kind of control center. Think of this as the top of the application. It gives you the most power. It's it's a good place to get started. If you get lost, you can always press Control E, and that will take you to the top of the application. In this screen, I can do things like send a chat. If I wanted to right now, I could chat with um, Rachel or Elizabeth, and I can press the at sign. At, at, combo box, edit combo, at, Rachel Buchanan, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one, left brace one, right brace. So I went ahead and found Rachel on the list because it was probably the last person I chatted with. If I press enter. Enter, combo box, type a message, type a message, edit. I can go ahead and type a message to her. Hello, enter, slash it, mention, executed, send in your message, dot, 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 enter the view and chat button. And just like that, I've sent her a message. Signed into test 0306. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hit Control E to go back to the edit box. Control E, search in the chat, combo box. I can also do things like set my status to do not disturb. So I'll type a slash sign. Slash, slash. D -O -D -D. Slash, DND. Slash, slash DND. Slash DND, set your status to do not disturb. Suggestions updated. DND, enter. Slash DND executed. Your status is being set to do not disturb. Your status is set to do not disturb. You'll only get notifications for urgent messages and from your priority contacts. Suggestions updated. Use down arrow to select. Left brace zero, right brace one of left brace one, right brace. So I did a slash, typed DND, press the enter key, and it set my status to do not disturb. If I, let's check and see where I am. Title is Elizabeth and Rachel Microsoft Team. I'm still in chat. Back button. And I'll hit Control E just to see, put myself back in that edit box. Control E, search in the chat, combo box. And I'll type slash available. Slash, slash, A. Slash asset, slash, 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 available, slash, available, enter, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one of left brace one, right brace, slash, available, executed, your status is being set to available, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one of left brace one, right brace, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one of left brace one, right brace, suggestions updated. And I'll press control because I don't need to hear all of that. Basically, by doing the slash command, I can then type in a command. So I did slash available slash DND. If I do a control slash, it'll give me a list of all the different slash commands. Control slash, edit combo, slash, slash activity, see someone's activity, suggestions updated, use down arrow to select, left brace zero, right brace one of left brace one, right brace. So I'll arrow down the list. Slash unread, see all your unread activity. Slash what's new, see what's new in Teams. Slash who ask you a question about someone. Slash activity, see someone's activity. Slash available, set your status to available. Slash away, set your status to away. Slash BRB, set your status to be right back. Slash busy, set your status to busy. Slash call, call someone. Slash chat, send quick message to a person. Slash DND, set your status to do not disturb. 
The one above. Slash chat send quick message to a person. It said slash chat. So I would assume that's very similar to doing the at sign in someone's name. Slash DND set your status to do not disturb. Slash file see your recent files. Slash find search the page. Slash go go right to a team or channel. Slash help get help with teams. Slash join join a team. Slash PC keyboard shortcuts. Slash mention see all your mentions. Slash offline set your status to appear offline. Slash org see someone's org chart. Slash pop pop out the chat into a new window. You get the idea. There's lots of stuff you could be doing inside this screen. So I'm going to press escape to get out of here. Escape. And I'll press tab. Signed into test 0300. And it tells me what I'm signed in as. I'll do a control E to go back to the edit box. Control E. Search in the chat. Combo. So if I wanted to call somebody, I just press control to silence jaws. I could do a slash call space and then the person's name. Slash 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 call slash call call. Rachel Buchanan, Rachel dot Buchanan, Rachel Buchanan, Rachel dot Buchanan. Suggestions update. And I'll press enter now. Scratch enter slash call executed calling dot dot dot. New window Microsoft Teams toggle full screen. Using high definition audio device. You are the only one here. Full bar. We hold F4. Leaving dot dot dot. And I went ahead and silenced that call because I'm not going to actually do that call right now. But as you could see, I was able to easily send a call to somebody just by typing in slash call followed by that person's name. Once I've done that, um, I press the enter key and it makes the call. Once in the call, I can do things um, like uh, turn on my camera um, and things of that nature. By default, it's only going to do the call without the camera. Now, the question is, if I want to close that call, um, you can tab to things like the leave call or in some um, screens, it may be called the hang up button. Um, in this case, I used um, the Alt F4 to close it. And the reason I could do that is that I have a setting set in my Teams that puts the call in its own window. So I'm going to go ahead and press Control E. Control E, search in the chat combo. And I'm going to tab to the settings and profile button. Signed into test of profile, app settings, and more. Button menu, your profile picture with status displayed is available. App version is available. Press enter for app settings and help. Enter. Menu, change your status. Current status is available. Sub menu, 2 of 10. And I'm going to arrow down. Set status message, 3 of 10. Save messages. Browse the list of your saved messages, 4 of 10. Settings, 5 of 10. And I'll press enter on settings. Enter. Leaving menus. Settings modal dialog. General tab selected, 1 of 6. Your profile. And there's a few settings in here I want to go ahead and demonstrate here. So I'm going to tab through it, and I'll let you know which ones those are. Default theme button tab selected, 1 of 3. Default theme allows you to change um, between... Black on white or white on black or other theme colors. Application group, auto start application checkbox checked. Um, my computer set up so that Teams automatically starts. That's a checkbox. You could turn that off. Open application and background checkbox not checked. On close, keep the application running checkbox checked. So this one says on close, keep the application running checkbox checked. That means if you press Alt F4, which is your command to close an application, Teams will continue to run and be placed in the system tray. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off with the space bar. Space, not checked. And then I'll hit the tab key. Disable GPU hardware acceleration requires restarting Teams checkbox, not checked. Register Teams as the chat app for Office requires restarting Office applications, checkbox. Turn on new meeting experience, new meetings and calls will open in separate windows, requires restarting Teams, checkbox, checked. All right, this is the setting that I recommend using. It places your call in a separate window. That allows you to press Alt F4 when you want to exit a call. If you don't have this box checked, then the call appears in the same window as your Teams applications, such as chat, Teams, uh, feed, and so on. This is a much easier way to use the application. It also has other built in hotkeys, for example, Control Shift M for toggling your mute, Control Shift O for toggling your video, Control Shift E to toggle, uh, or not toggle, but turn on uh, sharing your screen. Those are just three of the hotkeys that are built into the call screen if you have that checkbox checked for. Turn on new meeting experience, new meetings and calls will open in separate windows, requires restarting teams, checkbox checked. And you'll want to check it, and then you have to restart Teams. Keeping in mind that if you try to restart Teams by closing it, if you haven't checked the um, unchecked the box above that keeps Teams running when you close it, 
then it really doesn't close and you'll probably have to restart the application or restart uh, your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and press the enter key to save these changes. Enter. Profile app settings. And more. All right, so it's picture. called uh, closed settings. So those are just some of the things you can do with the search edit box, learning how to navigate around the screens using control F6, understanding the application bar on the left-hand side of the screen, which lists your different applications within Teams, and your profile slash settings options within Teams. Thank you for listening to this session on Microsoft Teams JAWS 2021 and the search edit box. Other sessions regarding Teams will come up another time. Thank you and have a good day. Freedom Scientific, a Vispero brand. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.